What's going on, everybody? On today's message on the move, we're going to discuss love being my only addiction. Now, love is my only addiction. This is a quote I live by since I was about 15. I dedicated myself to making sure that I improved the standard of love, lived the standard of love, maintained the standard of love, and die in love. Love is my only addiction. That means that I have no room for any other addictions. When I travel, I travel through people. I don't go to distant lands and fly planes I mean, or ride on planes, not fly them, but ride on planes too often, drive places too often. You know, I live in a melting pot of New York, but I do take the time to talk to different people of uh, different ethnicities and different nationalities and of different cultures. And I really try to learn what makes them tick. I really try to understand what we have in common because that's what a relationship is all about. That's what building relationships is all about. Through all the differences, what do we have to offer one another that becomes a common thread? Whether we all trying to make it to work, getting on the train, or you know, we see somebody that needs assistance and one person calls, for help, the other person stands by the person to support them. We all are different in that moment, but we all have the same heartbeat. We all have the same goal. We all have the same initiative. And that's to improve quality of life. And what better way to improve quality of life is love, and love being our only addiction. If everybody was dedicated and addicted to the well-being of connecting with others and enhancing others lives and challenging them to enhance your life love would be a standard that not one person can take away because everybody's working at it collectively we have war because we always want more we have fights because we want to conquer each other but when we love one another we find common ground we Understand that we're going to have different views of different circumstances, but we take the time and have the patience to find common ground. And that's the most important thing. So, next time when you're thinking of love, think of love being your only addiction. Think of giving away all your shopping addictions, your drug addictions, your trauma, your addiction to your, your trauma and your outlandish lifestyles, your ambition to take and crush other people and think about assisting other people, helping other people, nurturing other people. Think about building a strong team that gives back to the world, not takes from the world. And think of all that you can put in to this life before you leave. And your legacy should be passed on as love being your only addiction. Because love is my only addiction. This is another message on the move. I hope you enjoy. Peace.